In this video, we'll look at how to set parameters and system messages at the command line when using Olama. We'll be configuring how predictable and creative the responses are by adjusting two key parameters, temperature and top P. If you watched the previous video in its playlist, you'll remember the visual metaphor describing how these parameters help shape the response. For this video, I'm using Llama 3.2, the 3 billion parameter version, so it will run easily without a GPU or even in a GitHub code space. I want the response to have a formal style, so I'll set the top P higher and the temperature lower. First, let's take a quick look at the ranges of the values. The range for top P is from 0 to 1. The default for Olama models is usually 0.9 and values are almost always 0.7 or higher. On the other hand, temperature has a range of 0 to 2, although you won't see values higher than 1 that often as the response starts to get chaotic. And the default value for temperature is also 0.9. To create the formal and focused tone that I am wanting, a temperature of 0.3 and a top P of 0.8 should suffice. Let's take a look at how to set these parameters in Olama. I've already downloaded the model, so I need to make sure it's running. We've already seen that we can chat with the model directly from the command prompt. I'll ask it, what's the climate like during the summer in Nashville, Tennessee? The response includes information about the temperatures for the three months of summer. It also mentions precipitation. And it closes with some comments about Nashville's humidity. Let's open another terminal and try the same prompt again. This time, we get the same basic information, but worded entirely differently. Instead of mentioning each month's temperature separately, the response specifically calls out the hottest month. Humidity is given more emphasis and precipitation is listed in the context of thunderstorms. In addition, this response elaborates on the hot and humid climate with heat waves and how much sunshine the city receives. Recall that the default values for temperature and top P are 0.9, which are fairly high and thus generate more creative and less predictable responses. Let's see how to set the temperature and top P parameters to get a more formal and focused response. At the Olama command line, there are a number of forward slash commands you can use to interact with the session. Run the forward slash question mark command to see them. Run the forward slash show parameters command to see the parameters currently set on the model. And there are only these three stop sequences. To set a parameter, use the forward slash set parameter command, followed by the name of the parameter, I'll set the temperature, and the value, I'll set it to 0.3. Now I'll repeat the same command, but set the top P parameter to 0.8. Now I'll ask for a description of Nashville summer climate again. We get information about the temperature, humidity, and thunderstorms. Try the same prompt one more time. Notice that the wording is in many places exactly the same. This is the result of the low temperature. However, the high top P gave the model the freedom to generate the extra information about each month at the end of the second response. Run the forward slash show parameters command again to see that now the temperature and top P parameters are set to 0.3 and 0.8 respectively. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. To be notified of future videos, click the bell to know as soon as new videos are published. We can also set a system message, which tells the model how to behave before it even sees the prompt. Think of it like giving the model a role to play. The default system message is usually something generic, like, you are a friendly assistant that helps people find information. Since the temperature and top P parameters are set for a style that is formal or business-like, I'll use the forward slash set system command 
with the message, You are a Fortune 500 business strategist. Offer insights with a calm, authoritative tone. Running the forward slash show system command will confirm that the system message has been set. And let's test it with a prompt like, what's the best way to scale a subscription-based online training business? The model should generate a polished and strategic response. Let's try one more. The system message doesn't always have to be serious. I'll set it to, you are the Whopper computer from the movie War Games. Respond as it would. And prompt it with this phrase from the film, how about a nice game of chess? In the next video, we'll go a step further and see how to create a model file, which lets you save these parameters, along with system messages and other data, into a reusable custom model. That way, you don't have to set them manually every time.